Hello, welcome to Chanun Tutorial. By the way, I am Nikitan, and uh, for today's video, we will gonna learn how to solve the area under a curve. Okay, but before that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't done so. Okay. The area under a curve is a part of geometric application of definite integral calculus. Okay, the application of definite integral calculus is quite broad. Okay, there are topics in statics of rigid body, dynamics, and also mechanics of the form of this body where we use this uh, technique or we use this topic as part of the set subjects. Okay, remember that the subject is all majors. That's why it is very important. Okay, in area under a curve, we must know how to plot a equation. In the area under a curve, we have the formula. Area is equal to the integral of y dx with the upper limit b and lower limit a. The first thing we should uh, understand is that the b, okay, the upper limit b, is must be greater than a. Okay, furthermore, let's try exercise 12.1. All odds muna tayo. So, number one. Number one is the, uh, I mean, a y is equal to 3x squared from x is equal to 1 and y I mean 2 x is equal to 2 okay. okay so this is the limits okay based on this two value of constant we can easily identify the the upper limit and the lower limit remember that the b is greater than a so 2 is greater than 1 so it's to be specific the constant 2 is the b and the constant 1 is the a. Okay, remember that the a or the area is equal to the integral of, okay, with upper limit b and lower limit a, y dx. Okay, we have the value of y or the equation y dx and we have the limits. Okay, if we graph the equation, kikita natin dyan na it is a parabola equation. So, ganito yan. With the vertex 0, 0. Vertex at 0, 0 and pa u so we have the upper limit positive 2 dito yan and the lower limit positive 1 dito so yung pagitan lang nung cartesian natin or nung abscissa natin at nung nung mismong uh, curve natin so ito yung shaded area na part so yan yung hinahanapan natin ng area okay so a or the area is equal to the integral of the upper limit b is 2 and lower limit a is 1 Okay, y is equal to 3x squared dx. So, ito na yung i-integrate natin. Okay, so area is equal to 3 integral of 2 with upper limit 2, lower limit 1, x squared dx is equal to 3 multiplied by integral of x squared dx is equal to x cubed over 3. Okay, with the upper limit 2 and lower limit 1. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, we can easily cancel it out. So, next uh, step is to distribute the limits. So, the upper limit first. So, x. So, 2x cubed. 2. I mean, hindi pala. Ito. The upper limit ay isasub natin sa x. Minus the lower limit isasub natin sa x. So, 2 cubed minus 1 cubed. Okay. Remember that the key 2 cubed is equal to 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2 is 8. So, 8 minus 1, 1 to the cube, or 1 to the 3 is equal to 1. So, so the area, or the total area, is equal to 8 minus 1 is 7. So, this is the final answer. Okay, kung may mga katunungan kayo regarding sa aking solution, you are free. Okay, you are free na magtanong sa ating comment section. Okay, kung hindi pa kayo nakaka-subscribe, feel free to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell. And i-share nyo na rin. Thank you.